An unfair dismissal is really a dismissal which by itself appears to be unfair. Um, that's the generic rule that I apply. And nine times out of 10, I'll ask a dismissed employee, first of all, do you think you're unfairly dismissed? And if the answer is yes, we then go in to see whether the reasons being advanced for the dismissal um, fit within the, broadly within the model of what an unfair dismissal comprises so far as the Fair Work Act is concerned. The, the threshold matters for uh, a, a dismissed employee to consider or their advisors to consider will be firstly whether they come within the jurisdiction of the Fair Work Commission. So are they employed by what the Act describes as a national system employer? Uh, the length of employment um, for a small business that is less than 15 employees, you have to be employed for 12 months before you have the right to take an unfair dismissal application. A larger employer that is greater than 15 employees, an application can be made after six months employment. And then of course, are you within the, the period of time after dismissal, that is the 21 days, or will it be necessary to make an application for an extension of time to lodge the application? And that can only be done in exceptional circumstances. So the, the um, touch point or the gold standard for an application is to do it within the 21 days after dismissal because after that there will be great difficulties in convincing the Fair Work Commission that there are exceptional circumstances. The reason that you seek advice is that it's a complex area. Uh, it is often not uh, cut and dried. There will be complex and grey areas which need interpretation and often they'll need to be referred to the appropriate tribunal for an outcome. Serial offenders probably have a, uh, a respectful fear of doing business with Work Claims Australia on the other side and hence there will be some employers who have learnt their lesson in the past and will reach out to try and settle earlier than perhaps expected. I won't be naming names but it's only a small city so there are uh, after our years of experience, there are quite a number who, who do have uh, a respect for us. With clients, we have a very high success rate. Of course, in litigation, there is no guaranteed outcome. And so part of our skill and experience is to guide people with respect to perhaps settlement or resolution by other ways rather than going to hearing. But in the hearing space, we have a good success rate. 